516 is the time. It's Thursday morning. We are keeping our eye on Hurricane Delta, which appears to be on track for a western Louisiana landfall. The way things are looking right now, and the, uh, the models are in very good agreement on this, the Hurricane Center track forecast goes there. Everything stays mostly west of us. We will have some long-distance effects, though. Let's talk about those effects. They will include a lot of things happening along the coast, including the possibility of some coastal flooding, and we'll also be looking at high surf and high rip currents, but the effects are mostly long distance here. Louisiana landfall is likely sometime late tomorrow. Here is Delta moving across the western part of the Gulf of Mexico. 15 mile per hour forward movement to the northwest, 100 mile per hour maximum winds. Let's move forward and show you about landfall of this storm, which is expected tomorrow evening around dinner time and likely as a category two. Now, I will tell you, the track forecasts are very good, and there's high confidence in this track forecast. The intensity forecasts are not as good and can vary by a whole category at times. So this could go ashore anything as a category one to a category three, but in any case, it is going to be a bad situation for folks in western Louisiana that were hit hard by Laura. Note that we are far from this cone. Now, effects happen outside of this cone, and this storm has broadened out so that we will feel some of the uh, edge effects of this in the form of rain bands, and that means when you get rain bands, you get heavy rain, tropical rains and blustery winds. That will likely be Friday night into Saturday, and with that, we'll also have some coastal effects. So let's take a, a quick look here. This will continue moving up into northern Louisiana, Mississippi, and eventually fizzle out over Tennessee and Kentucky. Our weather starts quietly in Atmore, Wind Creek Casino and Hotel. The rip current forecast runs through Sunday with a high risk of dangerous rip currents at area beaches, and this is in part due to a fairly steady fetch of wind off of the Gulf of Mexico. So we've got that, and this is, uh, this is Delta right here. We'll also have coastal flooding on the order of one to three feet possible. So here is one of the computer model forecasts of Delta, but they are all in very good agreement with this, that this storm will move through the western Gulf and then start working its way up toward the Louisiana coastline. This is 10 a.m. tomorrow, still well out in the Gulf waters, but at that rapid forward movement, it will be on folks in western Louisiana probably by dinner time, and it uh, maybe even will be on shore by that time. So uh, once it moves on shore, it will start to rapidly weaken, and it is also going to continue that fast forward movement, which will carry it out of Louisiana, and also it's going to reduce the risk of flooding over parts of Louisiana. Note that Saturday, this is Saturday 6 a.m., this is well inland over northern Louisiana, and this may be when we see some of our worst weather. Uh, sometime Friday night into Saturday and at any time during the day on Saturday, the southerly flow of air is going to cause some coastal flooding. Again, one to three feet above normal tides would be a lot of the usual suspects, west end of Dauphin Island, Mobile Bay Causeway, but now you have to add in some of the areas that were hit hard by Sally and saw beach erosion and maybe lost some of the sand dunes, so those areas could also get some coastal flooding. Uh, Fort Pickens, I'm looking at you, and uh, Fort Pickens Road was hit hard by Sally, may get some coastal flooding again. So coastal flooding is one thing, but also in these rain bands, heavy rain is a possibility and the possibility of some tornadoes. Any landfalling system can produce these. They tend to be weaker and spin up faster than supercell thunderstorm tornadoes, the kind you would get with a cold front. Anyway, day planner looks like this, a humid start, a few showers during the middle of the day, and we may get some thunder in the afternoon. It will be warm, not quite as warm as yesterday with a daytime high in the mid-80s expected. On the radar right now, a little bit of rain, and this actually is associated with Delta, but I'm talking about the very, very outer reaches of just circulating air. This is not really um, a, a big part of Delta, but, but you can kind of see that it, uh, it drags all the way down and, and uh, gets pretty close 
to that system, and it's moving to the north, so we're getting some light rain showers this morning. The extended outlook is for a 50% chance of thunderstorms by this afternoon. Friday and Saturday, because of that small risk of tornadoes, will be weather-aware days for us, despite the fact that Delta is way to the west of us. But we will see some weather here, and then by Sunday, things dry out, and we'll stay on the warm side at least through Monday.